Good morning. Good morning. I'll speak to you in a bit. Let me just get up the top of these steps. Whew. And I'm not sure this is worth it. We'll see. This video is inspired by Darren Moore House ginger captures. <laughs> How's that then for an opening? Yep, I watched his video and he does get some good locations and he does inspire me sometimes and I needed it this week at work. I'm feeling a bit low again. So I sought for some inspiration to where to go and I'm in the Lake District and I'll tell you where when I get there. God, I'm pooped. All right, I must have to go up there next to this big chunk of rock and then up to the right. Let's keep going. So the first part of the mission is done. I'm at the top of the steep bit, I think. I walked down the road a little bit and then made my way up the steep hill. It was signposted to tell me the path. And I'm next to this massive clump of rock. It's not a mountain, it's just a hill. And it's overcast. We've been having lots of thunderstorms this week. So I still got up. I yummed and hard. I looked out the window this morning and I thought, oh, look at it, it's thick with cloud, but you don't know what you're gonna get, do you? We've only got to get a little break at the back there, we'll get colour. And if we don't get any colour, then we might get some dramatic atmosphere. Or I might get wet. <laughs> so Ginge named this wall the Great Wall of Hambleside or something like that. <laughs> and I've got to agree with him. It is definitely the Great Wall. And when I've got to the top, I've noticed there are glimmers of hope over in the background. So, keep that positive mental attitude going. Don't get scared by these sheep's eyes glowing in the dark, as I did this morning. And just keep getting up into position. This video is sort of sponsored by uh, Through Night. Um, Through Night sent me another torch and uh, I've got it down here on on a pouch um, it comes in a nice little pouch that you can put on your camera bag this is the uh, catapult pro this thing is awesome this is so much power in it, it comes with a lanyard and a usb-c charger cable uh, it's got a big battery stuff in the bottom it is rechargeable it's got a big lens on the front this thing sort of nearly two inches wide and it fits in the palm of my hand it's probably six inches long i'll put all the dimensions and stuff on the screen for you this thing is super powerful this thing is so bright i can still see it shining on the hill now it's a maximum output of 2713 lumens which means this thing packs power it really does pack some power um, and it's got a throw of a thousand meters now i was coming up here this morning in the dark and it was dark this morning when i was coming up here and this thing would see all the way down the lane in fact i could point it up the hills and i can see up the hill with this thing it is so 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 bright um, you probably won't be able to see it on the oh you can you can see it you can see it behind me it's the lights coming up and you can see how bright this thing is now if you press and hold it you see the intensity gets really bright and double flashes that's now up to its maximum output and you can see how much power is being pumped out of this thing you press your finger on it again and it dims now i quite like that function because you can adjust your amount of output and you can still see the output on there when it's dimmed right down and then one press and it goes off this double press is seriously seriously bright and i can see it on the other side this thing is all the way up to the top of the hillside even in the daylight it is phenomenal and i'll show you that in a moment uh, so double press and it gives you a maximum turbo output of 2713 lumens um, infinity high uh, 1400 lumens and then it will run like that for 24 minutes and drop down to 909 lumens for 120 minutes so 
So you're getting your strobe, which is quite a good deterrent. If you know someone's coming at you in the night, poke that in their face and it will slow them down. It really will, because it's that strobe that shocks your eyes and you can't see anything. Get this little tiny firefly, which is really quite dim. And this is the sort of thing you can use for reading, reading your maps, having a look, look at the top of your camera and stuff like that. So you can drop this thing as well. This is quite happy to be thrown on the floor and uh, knock it on rocks whatever you want to do and it's got a 1.5 meter drop resistance so i'm not five foot i'm five foot eight so if i drop it from head height it should be just fine so at six foot you can drop this and it should bounce and land if it doesn't contact through night i'm sure they'll replace it for you uh, and it's also waterproof ipx8 two meters so it means you can drop this in two meters worth of water pick it up and carry on using it in fact you could actually probably use it underwater wouldn't that be cool i might have to try that one day yeah that's all i wanted to do show you that torch and uh, tell you how impressed i am with it because it is small packs a punch and it is extremely extremely powerful so yeah back to the video so if you want to see the full spec for the torch uh, head on over to my gear channel i'll put the link on the screen there and i'll also put a link in the description wherever it is all all over the place just so you can go and have a look at it um, it's just a quick introduction to the torch very very nice i'm up on the great wall of ambleside as it's been nicknamed and uh, i'm not sure what to do really i don't know whether to climb up a bit higher and see if i can see something a bit higher up or whether to um stay here and get a, a similar sort of photo to what mr ginge got um of the wall and the heather's dying off but in all fairness it looks quite nice because it's got like a, a pastel pink to it so i quite like that effect and the hillside from around here just looks amazing you've actually got a side pike which is the main hill that this wall leads you up to so you've got side pike this little volcanic -y looking little stump sticking up and it goes off into the Langdale Pikes I think it does over in the background Blee Tarn is down here in this bottom corner and you can't see it um, but what I am going to do as long as it doesn't turn into complete mush and rain is I'm going to take a walk up this hill there's a small tarn um, a body of water up the top here and I think well why I'm up at this stupid o'clock time of morning I might go up there now I am not going to get a colorful shot this morning but but the wall's got some nice greens on it the wall's amazing it's got such a great down there it looks like it's got this they've laid this coping across the top so they've staggered the rocks and made like this coping across and it looks brilliant the wall is definitely like the great wall it's, it's fantastic i've been up to um yeah the one in scotland i've forgotten what it's called now uh adrian's wall i've been up to there uh with mrs c and um this looks just like it it's just amazing um yeah there's some lovely cloud structures it's nice and low so it's kissing and grabbing the tops of the the hills around which i really like that effect i think that's fantastic I, I just I like that mood dramatic atmosphere so i could actually make this quite a dramatic moody shot so do we do that why the light's coming up there is glimmers of hope there's little you know there's bright bits above the sky but I don't know. I didn't know whether to go up there and see if I can see light in the distance or whether just to sit it out. I don't know. But I do think I need to get a shot of this while it's looking moody and dramatic. To my first shot, I'm really just setting up, trying to make the most of this the atmospheric cloud and this pastel -y. I really actually, I really do like these pastel colours on the heather at the moment. Um, I watched a video the other day and they were saying they look better when they're pastel rather than deep vibrant pinks and you know what it really does suit this i can just see the pastels in the bottom of this image and i'm going to show you this first image because it, it is a test shot for me really just to sort of weigh it all up um but I, i've tried to use the heather as sort of like a leading line and then you've got the double leading line with the wall and it's taken over to the rock you know side pipe which is over on its uh, left hand side um, but I like the rock, you know, the, the mountains in the background as well because they just set this atmosphere of ruggedness and things like that. So, yeah, I think as a test shot goes, I think that's quite nice. Um, and yeah, you'll see the colours in the heather that are nice pastels. And I really do think they lend themselves to this image. And that wall is just amazing. Now, I'm going to try another little shot. I just want to see if I can get maybe a bit more heather in it or maybe try and use the wall as a bit more deeper emphasis on the wall dragging you through the image. Um, it's a bit nippy now, I've taken my bag off my back, so I may just chuck it on my back. It does keep your back nice and warm, especially once it gets a bit wet and sweaty. Eek!
So I've come over a little bit now. I've, I've just moved over maybe, I don't know, three, four foot. And I've lifted my tripod up to its next section, so it's sort of my head height. And it makes a complete difference on the image. It, it looks completely different now. I've got a, a bank of heather in the bottom corner you know, in the bottom of the image. It looks really, really nice, all these nice pastels. There's walls flowing down through the hill, taking you all the way up to Side Pike. And then you've got, I think, the Langdale Pikes, or whatever that is, over in the, in the background there with this gray moodiness of sky. It's quite a moody atmosphere image. Really quite a nice, um, oh, look at the mountains over there. Wow, they're cool. Um, can I show you that? That looks really good. Let me have a look. Oh, we've got to stop, have a look at this. By the time I got the camera off and turned it around, it disappeared. But just over there, you just saw in between the clouds, the mountain sticking up in between. That looked really good. That would have been a nice little long lens shot, but too late. I never got to show you it properly, but the, the clouds really quite low there and it does look awesome. There are, it is getting brighter and there are some patches of like gaps in the clouds, but nothing where the sun is, the sun's behind me. so. Yeah, but this image, as I was saying, uh, you've got this nice bed of heather down here, these nice pastel heathers, and then you've got the wall leading you all the way down to Side Pike, which is that chunk of rock there, um, which, and I came up from the road, the road's down there, and it's quite steep coming up there, but it's a good path, so it's all right. Um, yeah, that's the one I'm thinking about going up, but we, 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 I think we should while we're up. My hands have gone chilly, it's, it's September, oh, it's just showing through again. By the time I spin you around, it'll be gone. The cloud's moving too quick. But if I can get a shot of that, I think I will, because I like that. I put the long lens on, put the 300 mil on, and, and zoom in and see if I can just capture that little glimpse of the mountain sticking through that, that mist, or that, that, that low, clagging cloud. Right, let's find another shot, and uh, I'll speak to you when I do. So I've just taken a little sort of walk over, just round this heather a little bit. And I've put side pike now on the on the right hand thirds or on the right hand side of the image. But the reason I've stopped here is there's a, a tiny patch of like hawthorn or new it's a new growth, a new a new little patch of green uh, hawthorn, I think it's hawthorn, um, but it's really quite a vibrant green and it's nestled in this pastely pinks and of course then you've got side pike as your your dominant feature but beyond that then you've got your your hillside and it's a slightly pastely green tone with your low clouds and i actually think because of those elements they all really work well together um, you've got that lovely deep moody sky you've got their nice pastels on the hillside you've got the rocks of side pike and then you've got this little clump of green in the bottom which just gives you that starting point for your eye to look at it and then move on um, I could maybe go in a bit tighter I could pull it in a bit tighter and I'll show you this slight difference between the two I think if I go in a bit tighter it makes that little green a bit more prominent and it brings you closer see I can the, the light on the hillside in the background is actually really nice even though there's no actual direct light on it it's just them color tones as it is it sort of maps its way around the contours yeah, I, I really like that. That's, this is a really, really good spot. So, uh, well done, Ginge. This is this is really nice, and thanks for the inspiration. Uh, it's given me a reason to get up this morning, a reason to come somewhere to go this weekend. And uh, now I'm here. It's amazing. This is definitely one that I will be back to time and time again. Because we always go to Blee Tarn, which is down there. I can see it now, and I've just taken a shot with Blee Tarn in. Um, but you never walk away from it, and, and this is definitely well worth, well worth the walk. So, yeah. Nice one. There's something going on behind me, cloud wise, and uh, I thought, well, I better send me scout up to have a look. So I've got the drone out at the moment, and I'm just about to set this up to get a shot. And then uh, I'm gonna have a little look and see what's going on. 
just going for a sort of wide angle shot really just trying to get the wall and everything from where I am in but there's definitely some light going on behind me so let's hit record button and let's go and have a little look and see what's going on up over the top but there's some color in the background and you can see it on the video now as I've got the video playing that there there's some color so let's just uh, send her up in the air and see what's going on over the top of this hill and see if we can find out what all that color's doing and it's like most times I'm normally in the wrong place but you can see there there's definitely color on them their hills and uh, it looks pretty awesome over there but it's not breaking through is it but the looks of it it's definitely not breaking through that hillside and we've gone up quite a long way now and we can see the top of that hill that I want to walk up to as well but as yet I can't see the tarn so I'm not quite sure where the tarn is but we was going to walk up onto the top of that wall and it looks pretty awesome and this is why I love having my drone because you can get to see things that you can't see with the eye but I don't fly my drone as often as uh, some people do but that wall goes right up and snakes all the way around doesn't it it looks amazing absolutely amazing right let's just have a scout up onto the top of that hill there and that wall goes all the way up and over so I think to get to the tarn you have to go right to the top of that one so I'm not sure I'm going to be doing that um, but at the moment it's looking pretty awesome so let's just spin around take a little look at that light see what's going on over there not a lot definitely something going on in that distance right over in that far distance someone's getting some beautiful colors so let's have a look down to see where we are and uh, you'll see that I'm bang in the middle of all the heather and the colors and that you should be able to see uh, there's a little tiny patch of water and you can see that little yellow patch or the little orange patch right in the middle there that's me and I'm stood right by the heather and then I've got the view obviously going to be leading me from there it's going to take us all the way up up to side pike as you can see appearing from the top of the frame now so there's side pike that majestic chunk of rock sticking out and then you've got all these fantastic mountains and hillsides all the way around and look at that lot there absolutely fantastic also if we spin round to the right hand side or the left hand side should i say uh, you can see blee tarn right down there it looks tiny where it is it really does look quite small and insignificant um, and my van is parked in the bushes or in the trees just over to the left hand side of the town right let's bring the drone down let's uh, scout around for some more images and that light behind me is still still kicking off so we spin all the way around and we'll have a look it's still there's still light there but whether I can make anything of that I don't know um, I've taken a picture across the actual wall but i'm not sure if it actually works but someone over there is definitely getting something spectacular so i'm not sure whether this uh, whole scene in front of me is going to get blasted with light in a minute because that color of light that we could see over the background has now suddenly broke through and it's hitting hitting the tops of these hills and these little clumps of light just hitting the hills um, and it looks <laughs> totally amazing now I have shot a shot across the wall but the walls obviously breaking breaking you up but let me just show you what I can see this is just phenomenal look at the way look at the way the light is just catching these tops of these bits of hill just there you can see it's just catching there and it's just catching over in the distance a little bit it was a little bit more intense just now but that light over there and there's a little tiny weeny patch just in the middle in there and you can't quite see it but if it was just to come across and just grab the tops of these two here that would look be that would be spectacular but i don't think it's going to quite make it stop recording on the osmo because the osmo's battery run out and that's put the battery pack on back to charge it up again and uh yeah we had a little bit of action going on um long distance action i took i've taken a shot of the wider vista because that's what I like. I like that big, vistery, take it in mountain shot.
but I also put the long lens on because over there, over there behind me, if I can just spin the camera around a little bit for you, but over here behind me, we've got light hitting the tops of the like the clouds and the low lying the low lying cloud basically over the top of the I don't know if that's the Flangdales or whatever it is. It's, it's over in the background anyway. Um, but yeah, it was hitting them and it's going to be making these nice little pockets of light and you had these nice cloud formations around the tops of the mountains and stuff like that and it looked really, really good. Um, so I've taken loads of little shots of, of that, you know, of, of taking just little sections of way the, you know, the way the light was moving and the way it was moving across and, and stuff like that and it just looked really, really good. So I took a few shots of that. I've also taken a couple back across this way, across uh, Blee Tarn looking up. I can actually see the van now, to be honest, down there in the in the trees in the car park. Um, so yeah, a little bit of action went on, a little bit of something was going on, but no light on this, no light on our main subject, but hey ho, win some, lose some. It's still worth getting up. I still enjoyed being here and it's a lovely, lovely little location. This really is. It's not far. It's not far to walk. It's just a bit steep um, up that hill first thing in the morning. But yeah, I'm a little bit tired now, so I might go back and have an hour's kip in the van. Uh, what is the time? Let's have a look. 10 to 7, uh, 10 to 8, sorry. Um, so the sun's been up a, you know, an hour and a half sort of thing. Um, yeah, 10 to 8. Must be time to walk back down to the van, have an hour's kip and make a plan for this evening, I think, and do a bit of editing maybe in the van. Uh, I've got a few other things to show you um, they'll all be on the gear channel and again that link is in the description um, yeah I think that's it I think that's it I think I'm going to say goodbye and uh, I'll see you this evening next time something like that anyway let's make a plan for this evening see what I can get sunset walk somewhere and uh, yeah enjoy see you soon ciao bye bye oh any comments leave me a comment let me know what you think. If you know the area at all and you think I should go here or go there, then yeah, let me know. I'm always interested to know, but fantastic. What a great morning. What a, what a great morning. See you soon. Bye.